Katarzyna Dydzia and I'm a director of Urban Activity Bureau in the city of which office, which is um, the city in the middle of Poland. So we have uh, approximately 700,000 citizens. Uh, so uh, for me and my uh, team, uh, the, the main goal for us, the vision is um, um, in, we, we ask ourselves how to make processes and uh, uh, what tools uh, should we use um, with working with citizens um, to, 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 to make citizens feel a part of the, of, the, of the city, of the community of the city. So, uh, so yes. And the uh, um, main tools for us uh, in the uh, city of uh, Łódź, but also for other local governments, uh, are, um, of course, uh, consultation processes. So uh, we, are, we ask ourselves uh, what um, uh, tools should we use, uh, what uh, uh, what activities should we should we make uh, to, to engage and involve citizens? Uh, so uh, yeah, we have uh, city debates, uh, participatory breakfast for NGOs, uh, consultations hours, participatory design, research walks. Of course, it depends on the groups and uh, uh, the community and uh, the the topic that we have uh, that we want to go and uh, see the residents. Uh, so one of the uh, biggest consultation process for us uh, lately was um, uh, the consultation for city strategy. Actually, the topic of city strategy is uh, the vision is uh, actually co-creating the city. Uh, we started in the pandemic times, so uh, we uh, we have hundreds of meetings. Uh, we have uh, online workshops. It was very fresh for us. Uh, but also we we want to engage people. We were in the parks, uh, local areas. We tried to uh, involve different groups of uh, of residents uh, from young age to to old, uh, from uh, different languages group as well. So we have different workshops to to suit the to the people. And uh, of course, we also ask ourselves because first thing, and when the, the, in the city, big big city like uh, like ours, and uh, uh, in a big topic as strategy, for example, we ask ourselves what to, um, how should we go to citizens? How should we inform them? And how should we engage them uh, to, um, to 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 want them to take part in the in the process, so uh, I give you some examples like uh, surveys for, for for sure. But also, uh, we were in the public transport. Uh, we were uh, on the uh, ticket um, machines. It, it calls. We also had a cargo bike, and uh, we were riding uh, in the. Um, main pedestrian pedestrian um, area pedestrian streets, and we were uh, talking with with citizens. Uh, but also, uh, it's not only uh, consultations uh, that we we do. Um, one of the one of the projects, one of the activity is participatory budget. Um, and uh, here uh, we started in 2012, so this year we have 11, we started already, we have 11th edition and yes, last year we had 10th anniversary of, uh, of participatory budget, so it's one of the, like you might, you might know, it's one of the like biggest project who involve a lot of citizens because it's like 10% of citizens are involved in the participatory budget in, um, in Woods. We, uh, we had also a two citizens assembly. Um, uh, first was um, um, in the pandemic time. It was, uh, it was crazy because first meeting was uh, in real. Uh, uh, but uh, but next one, next one, it has to be online. So it was very crazy for us probably 
uh, you, you probably know how, how, how it was, and we were in the middle of, of this uh, very huge and very important for the, uh, for the local government process. So it was uh, very crazy, but we did it. And uh, uh, like a couple, I think two weeks ago, we finished our second uh, citizen assemblies. Uh, this time uh, in um, in real we could meet with uh, with citizens it was uh, pretty amazing um, but also we have other projects that um, other yeah projects I, I can say uh, to involve um, citizens uh, formal informal groups and geos um, like uh, microgrants for example um, there are um, there are projects um, that I mean, it's like impulse for the citizens to uh, just, um, you know, it, it, like in the form, for example, in, um, in micro grants for neighbors or for the local community to, to involve in the, for example, the area where, where they live. Uh, so, um, so I can tell you more about it later. And uh, last but not least, uh, uh, last year we opened the uh, Urban Activity Factory, where uh, this is a place, open place for NGOs, for um, for community, for for all citizens who are want to be involved in the processes of uh, co-creating the city. Uh, we have uh, in this one year we have uh, more than 300 uh, workshops, activities meetings with uh, with residents uh, consultation process as well uh, so um, um, yeah uh, this is a place who involves and who is open um, for everyone if someone want to make an exhibition with the art or if they want to you know meet in local and to, 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 to reach to the groups that they are um, part of uh, they can, and this is like the place that we created, and I'm very glad that we have this place. Uh, so, um, yeah. So, of course, I can tell you more about it later, but this is like the short presentation from me. Thank you.